Hello Whovians, Crispy Bro here, yes, welcome back to my channel, hope you're all having an amazing day. I'm coming at you with a video today that I've wanted to talk about for quite a while, so it's a bit of a special video, but anyway, before we get into it, a bit of news. I just wanted to tell you guys that I am going to be a guest on Ace Creeper's charity livestream. We pre-recorded a sneaky interview, um, and it was hilarious and a lot of fun, um, so I do recommend you guys go and watch that. It'll be on at 4pm to 5pm Sunday UK time. I do believe the stream is live now, so go and watch that. Yeah, it starts around lunchtime UK time, so so go and watch that. It's gonna be hilarious. There are a bunch of other YouTubers joining. It's a great initiative. It's for a great cause. Um, so yeah, please please donate. I'll be donating as well. It is very very exciting. But anyways, on with the video. Doctor Who has been delayed until 2020. Can't believe they pulled the same trick on us. The last time this happened was in 2016. Um, that was directly after Capaldi's second series. Um, and my reaction back then went like this. Now I understand why most of you Whovians will be a little ticked off by this news, because because I was when I read the article. I was like, what what is happening to Doctor Who right now? However, I've talked some sense into myself and actually seen this as kind of a a positive thing. So I think leaving it an extra year will give the writers, give the producers, give everyone on the team a bit more time to think about the scripts they're going to make, how they're going to film it, and make some proper quality episodes. Oh, look at me! I, I was so I was so thoughtful and understanding, but no, times changed. That was that was three years ago, almost three years ago. I, I'm I'm grown up now. <laughs> So much like 2016, we will be getting one episode of Doctor Who. In 2016, we had that Christmas special, and in 2019, we will have have the New Year's special. So, so, yeah. Hopefully, these bad boys come back. Anyways, going back to 2016, I remember that year dragging on and on and on because I was just waiting for that Christmas special. Um, and, and even in that year, we had Class come out, and I know, no, not a lot of people were a fan of Class. I mean, I didn't mind it. At least it was something. But even then, we were we were fresh off of off of Series Nine. You know, we had the, we had the Zygon two-parter and, and Heaven Sent. And Clara died, and the internet wasn't as harsh as it is now. But given how Series 11 has been received, I feel like this gap year might not necessarily be the best move for the show. This will just give people a whole year to just sit here and wait and, and ponder Series 11 and, and the New Year's special. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I feel like the show has to redeem itself, even though I was a big fan of, of Series 11. But it's just a shame that we have to wait a whole a whole extra 12 months for that. I mean, like, as I said, don't get me wrong, Series 11, I was a fan of it, but there are plenty of other people out there that weren't. I have no idea why, but um, recently uh, in the in the Hootube sphere, it's been a bit of a uh, popular trend to look at um, the, the Rotten Tomato score of Doctor Who. In my six years of making Doctor Who related content on the on this platform, I have never seen anyone use the Rotten Tomato score as a reference in a video before. So I was like, hey, why not why not check out the site, you know? Nevertheless, here it is. That's that's 37%. That is that is less than ideal. But the critics reviews are at 94%, which which I find very deceiving. I mean, like I, I did enjoy series 11, but I do not feel um that that it deserves a 94%. I'd say anywhere between, you know, 60 and 70% is where I think series 11 should lie. That's why I feel like these websites can be a bit deceiving and I feel like it's it's more up to the individual as to whether they like something or not. But Anyways, let's go and check it out. Let's have a look at some some comments, shall we? An absolute bore of a series flooded with unnecessary political messages. Hated it. Hashtag arrest Chris Chibnall. Piece of sh- That one's my favorite because of how well it's worded. No suspense, no story, no good actors. I feel disappointed. Wait, actually, that's I feel disappointed. Jody is terrible. I say that as a woman. Yaz is even worse. Totally dull, lifeless, and pointless. I say that as an Indian. I don't think Doctor Who should return in 2020. The BBC need to scrap and reboot once again. There is no redeeming this mess. Wow. Anyways, you get the gist of it. There are there are pages and pages of these on there, um, but I'm not going to read them. I think you guys get the general idea. So whilst I could sit here and, and defend Series 11 to my last breath, 
I'm not going to because obviously if people are making these comments there is there is a problem whilst I do not know how to fix said problem I don't have the solution I'm just a hootuber from Australia um I do not think that delaying a series of Doctor Who a whole year is the best move. It is such a shame that we aren't getting Doctor Who in 2019, and obviously I say that as a massive fan because you know I want I want to see it. I want to see any new stuff they have. Um, but now I feel like there is there is going to be even more pressure on series 12 to deliver because series 11 was so divisive. But hopefully, as my 2016 self said, um, that this extra year will hopefully give the people behind the scenes uh, a bit of a look at you know where they could improve what the what the fans were saying what the critics were saying and hopefully they can deliver something that will be more satisfying than series 11 but hey that that's that's all i have to say but please let me know your thoughts on this do you think it's a, a bad move or a good move that they're delaying it until 2020 do you think doctor who needs to be rebooted or do you think people are just overreacting about this whole series 11 thing please leave your thoughts in the comments below and be kind to each other please and that's going to do it for this video thank you so much for watching uh please check out Ace Creepers charity live stream. It's awesome. Get around it. It's hilarious. It's on right now, I think. So go and check that out um, and donate, please. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you next week for a bit more of an upbeat video. I'm very excited. Anyway, allons-y and check out the live stream.